So, I just finished watching the game. The Lions lost. They're out of the playoffs in the wild card. And first year Jim Caldwell really, first of all, I want to congratulate the Detroit Lions for making it as far as they did. Um, Jim Caldwell did a great job. The defensive coordinator, Austin, is probably going to be leaving. Dominican Sue is not coming back. There's going to be probably tons of players that are on the Detroit Lions that are not going to come back. And it's just because of the demographics of where they're at. They're never going to get a chance at a title. And that's just the way the NFL is. If you think the NFL is an honest organization, you are wrong. This goes back to when, when Calvin Johnson was catch the, caught a ball in, in Chicago about three years ago. And any other time it would be a touchdown, but this new Calvin Johnson rule, you know, bobbling the ball, whatever. I don't even know what it is, but um, anything to do, make up rules to make other teams that are not in a high-rated TV demographic um, place, you know, because the bottom line is it's all about money. That's what it comes down to. And Detroit and Cincinnati and teams that are in, in areas or don't have this, like, mystique about them or a lineage or they're not a Super Bowl team. I mean, you literally have to break through the ice. I mean, you literally have to get through all of the refs and the, and the corrupt NFL cheating and you have to get through that. You, you have to play through that. And there's just no denying it. It's, it's pretty obvious that they want Dallas to play Green Bay. You know, um, Detroit is driving. They throw the ball to Pettigrew. The linebacker is all over slapping on this guy. Any other week, any other time ever, all 16 weeks in the NFL, that's a flag. And they did call a flag on the play. And they call the flag, and then they pick it up. How do you how do you pick up a flag when the guy is slapping all around him, and he's not turning around to make a play on the ball? Any other week, any other week in the NFL, no matter what, if the guy does not turn his head, he's not making a play on the ball, and he's interfering past five yards of line of scrimmage. That is a penalty. That changed the complete momentum of the game. And then at the last drive, I mean, I think it was Ansan. I mean, there's pictures all over on Twitter. The guy is like literally trying to like, he's waving to the ref, and the guy is like holding him. And, and then the last play, when they sacked Romo twice, Sue was being held, and they didn't call a flag. And then they pick up the flag on the pass interference. Then it made it look all good like the Detroit Lions, and then we're going to change the complexion of this game. And they just started throwing flags on everything. Did you see how many flags did you see being thrown in the second half against Detroit? I'm sure that you could look, and there's like a huge, like I didn't see any, play. it was ridiculous. The amount in that, in the pro offensive line got demolished, pro bowl team offense, like that, they got destroyed. Um, look, I understand how the world works. It works around money. In Detroit, unless they have a, a unless they come out and win a Super Bowl, they're not gonna they're not gonna let them up because there's no mystique there. And it, unless there is like this quarterback that lifts up the team, and you know that has to be you know Lombardi making the calls. I mean, he didn't come up with some great calls at the end. He didn't, there was no good calls at the end to get us the, I mean, they had two fourth downs and made them both. Obviously, they were holding on the damn plays. They didn't throw no penalties or nothing like that. But to pick up a flag on a blatant pass interference call when we were on the other side, going to be on the other side of the 50-yard line, about to score and just totally put them out of the game. I mean, honestly, how many people would want to see, an, um, was it a semifinal with Detroit and Green Bay? Nobody's, I mean, look, the, demo, the, the TV ratings for that would be terrible. The NFL revenue would be terrible. Blah, blah, blah. Dallas against Green Bay. Dallas is going to go to Green Bay. They can't play up there in the cold weather. They're going to get destroyed. They're going to get destroyed. Their defensive line can't never, it can't even penetrate. They're going to get ran all over. 
Aaron Rodgers is going to throw tons of touchdowns. I don't know. That game's going to be a blowout. Um, and, and you know, I'm just man, a corrupt NFL. I'm sh man, shame on you, man. These guys played their asses off, and you cheated them out of that game. That fucking Cowboys did not win that game. They got cheated on those fucking calls and no calls. And there's, it's right there. Everybody fucking seen it. And they know you cheated them. I fucking hope soccer puts the NFL out of business. You know, it'll probably be before I'm long gone. But I hope the NFL goes out of business. So, and it wouldn't matter anyway. Soccer, you know, whatever. They, they cheat already on that anyway. But that's just the point of it, you know. I mean, just, I am just cannot believe how cheap and corrupt they are. I mean, it's... <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Anyways, um, I like to say, you know, the special teams put us in tons of holes in that game. Stafford, I mean, he played a good game. He seemed really relaxed, but at the end, it seemed like Lombardi didn't have the calls for him. Great offense, a great defensive blitzing by Austin and the defensive coordinator, but unfortunately, the defense was on the fucking field too long. You know, I mean, you gotta, you gotta sustain some drives. Um, I don't know. We got to get rid of Reggie Bush. We got to make some. We need to get some like um, some some other things, some other dynamics, or another offensive coordinator. We definitely got to get rid of the special teams coach. I've been saying this. You can go back and look at my the the game when Detroit beat Dallas like thirty one thirty. Special teams almost lost us that game. They lost us tons of games. They put us in the hole so many times in this game. I think it was, in the very first kickoff. Uh, you know what was it? Um, you almost got Tate killed, and then the dumbass comes out of the end zone, puts us in the hole, and we winds up on the, I mean, Riddick or whoever, I don't know who brought the ball out, shouldn't have brought the ball out, and it's special teams, and you shank the ball and give him short field. Oh, dude, I'm, I, I just cannot believe it. Whoever's at uh, Detroit Lions need to fire the shit out of special teams coach. But I guess, you know, a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, Romo and that team's been trying for so many years, and they're going to give it to them. The Lions as first-year coach and Caldwell, you know, they're going to do have plenty of years. Stafford's only 26 years old. You know, that's just the way the game works. you got to earn it. You're never just going to let you in. You got fucking cheated out of that game. That was a bullshit call, and everybody in fucking America knows it. Any other fucking week, if a guy's all over somebody... And he doesn't turn around to play the ball. That is a fucking 15-yard flag. And he threw it. And then he picked it up after what? Des Bryant comes out on the fucking field. Throw a flag on his ass too. What the fuck is that? Just unfucking believable. Um, Lions are probably, I mean, their team's going to be fucking dismantled. I mean, Sue's going to get a huge fucking contract. I mean, he's... Sue's probably going to wind up in New England or the Eagles or somewhere where the fucking the team is, you know, got a big city and they're not going to fucking bullshit call them with bullshit calls. And they're probably going to be able to win a fucking Super Bowl. I mean, look how hard it was for Seattle. They had to fucking, they're not going to let Seattle win either, but they had to come through and win. Now that they have that pedigree, they're going to give them the calls. But anyways, that's the end of that. End of the season. Caldwell did a great job. Um, defensive coordinator did a great job. I give Caldwell an A. I give defensive coordinator A plus. I give uh, the special teams a fucking F minus. Fire that bitch out of a cannon. Um, uh, Stafford C minus. Um, I don't know what's going on with him. They're not throwing at Calvin Johnson. Calvin was hurt most of the year. No rhythm there. I don't know, man. I just I'm just I mean, I'm just irritated. So other than that, that's it. Um, I feel like, you know, uh, I, I mean, you, you can't, at the end of the day, you can't say that penalties, you can't say either way penalties would have cost you the game or not, but, I mean, you throw the flag, you clearly know it's a fucking penalty, and then you pick up the flag, How, I just don't understand that, I don't fucking get that, anyways, I'm out, whatever, see you next year. Fuck another fucking losing season, whatever. Fuck it.